Mm-hmm. You you have um you have a great relationship with Hostel and you have been able to get that whole crew to your mm-hmm. store uh several several times and it's been a huge huge success. Before we get into uh you know Fuad and Sam and so on and so forth, mm-hmm. how did you establish that relationship? The same way I establish every single one. I respect, uh, I stay humble, and I respect individuals that give me time. Mm-hmm. Okay? Those individuals that give me time are in a world of bodybuilding. I love bodybuilding as much as they do. And they know it. So they feel it. Okay? And um, and I never asked for anything. I always say, what can I give you? What can I do for you? Uh-huh. So, you know, so those relationships always ended up being the same way because – each individual always had good rapport to say about me, right? So, for example, Fuad, well, that was Dominic Cordone. We reached out to Fuad, I want a brand. Well, I picked up the brand. We talked. He saw me supporting it. He saw me how much I love bodybuilding. Next thing you know, we joke around, we talk, and our friendship flourishes. And mm. it's literally the same way with everybody, with everybody. I mean, um, I have a very strong relationship with Fuad. I, I really see him as a very good friend. Um, mm-hmm. The guy is a, he's a great guy, contrary to what other people say. Um, you know, the, the guy is just like, like straight, just be loyal to me and be a good person. Mm-hmm. I'll be the same way. Like, it's pretty just, it's pretty kind of self-explanatory. So, um, and, you know, the guy literally won't sell it to anybody in Jersey other than me. That Well, yeah, that's like, loyalty. He, they, and, they, and they do say he does get a lot of and I've covered it. I've covered his uh, his online beef with uh, Nick Trujilli, and I've covered he had a friend that came out, and he was actually on my show and talked about Fuad and so on and so forth. Um, but he's, for some reason, he's still able to uh, kind of keep his head above water. And how can I say this? Uh, be successful, even with all these people that bring this negativity and so on and so forth, right? Now I'm going to I'm going to sound like a little bit of a hypocrite because I do cover it. I never said anything bad about the man, but I do cover. I did cover his problem with Nick and I did cover his problem mm-hmm. with uh, his friend Mish. Uh but mm-hmm. truth be told, he was one of the guys that inspired me to start my own podcast because I was a huge fan and still am a huge fan of his podcast, right? But now do you see a difference when Sam Sulik was with him as opposed to not being with him as far as uh, selling products or uh, when you have Sam at the store or without him at the store with people coming? So I'm going to give huge props because I was actually shocked about how well uh, Fuad treated Sam. And this is, listen, I was, uh, we were together for two days. I was around the Matthew, the Matthew Arnold. And I was with him at the Detroit Pro. Event, post event, all that stuff. Okay. Um, Fuad, flat out, Sam, are you good? Thank you so much for coming. Sam, I appreciate you for doing this for me. Sam, thank you. Is there anything else I could do for you, Sam? Mm. Fuad treated the kid. I, I, I was I was just shocked, right? Um, of how much respect he gave Sam and how much he um appreciated his value. Right, where everything that Sam did for him was him going, Hey Sam, would you want to do this? Like for my event, it was him going, Sam, look, Pat's a good friend. He wants to host an event. Would you want to do for him? Let you know, let me know what the cost is. He he wants to pay it, whatever it is. How do you feel? It wasn't like let's go do this. It was it wasn't hey, demanding, man, right? Would you like to do this? No, like that's why. Like, I listen. Here's what I think. Here's what I think is going on. I think, um, I think no, no. So before Sam went to hostel, because I had this conversation so much. Sam was big within kids whenever he went to the gym and don't even know anything about gym or bodybuilding. Mm. He wasn't known by any bodybuilders whatsoever, right? So when he came to hostel, hostel traffic is just hardcore bodybuilding. So they're like, who the fuck is this? Right? Just me. I was like, who's Sam? Like, who is this? All my athletes, yeah. all that. Next, you know, we watch the stuff. I'm like, yo, this kid's pretty cool. He explodes. Like, and I'm talking explodes. Do I he think does. he would have reached this trajectory before that hostel? 
I think it would. Now I'm going to say this bold statement. I'm sure people will fucking kill me, but <laughs> I don't. Right. I don't think he would have reached the same status this quickly if it wasn't him joining the hostel. Just like Sam helped hostel drastically, right? Because mm. they uh, exposed hostel to a whole new demographic. Hostel exposed Sam to bodybuilders. They he exposed them to millions and millions of people who never even knew who Sam was and now like him. Right. So it turned him from half a million followers to multi-million followers to everything like that. Uh, so okay. I think so I think that and I see that. Like I seen that firsthand, but nobody mentions that. Everybody's just like, Well, Hostel's lucky. Yes, they were lucky to have Sam. They they found somebody that loves bodybuilding, right? He fucking loved it. Right. right? He's hardcore. He's like, hey, man, you want to sign? Let's go. Let's do this. Next you know, it just exploded. And as the explosion went, Hostel kept doing what they had to, to take care of him and do more for him. But, like, all these other accusations, it wasn't even true, man. Like, literally, ah, like, okay. I remember after the I'm, I remember after the Detroit Pro dinner, we're all sitting there, Jim Mann and everything. Then it was ended. So what came up to Sam is like, hey, man, thank you so much for coming as a meet and greet for my Detroit Pro, man. Thank you so much for having dinner with us. Is there anything you need, man? Is there anything I can get for you? Please tell me. Oh, like, that's fantastic. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people don't realize that. Even when the, when the contract ended, there was nothing horrible. It just, Sam's like, I just want to do my thing. Sam has turned down contracts from fucking clothing that if I told you numbers, you would fucking shit your pants. Yeah. Right? He, seem, so he, he seems like the kind He seems like the kind of guy that just wants to do his own thing. Whatever he, yes. Yeah. Yes. I think I think all the drama is because, because people can't fathom in the head that Sam is his own person and nobody forces Sam or can even manipulate Sam to do anything. Okay. He does whatever he wants and he's actually a good person. He's a super good person. He's very wholesome. His family is extremely like I, I I assume they're Christian, but they act like extremely very old school Southern Christian. Uh, okay. His, um, his mom, his dad, his brother, like completely wholesome, positive people. They don't want drama. They don't want none of that. Okay. They're just like being in like just chill. Like same thing with Sam. So I think um I think a lot of people just give a lot of slack, man. And I think what it is too, like look. People have disagreements with Fuwa. They go their separate ways. Fuwa just cuts these people off. It's like, okay, man, we got a disagreement. We don't really deal with each other. Okay, I won't deal with you either. We're done. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of people are don't like that, and they want to keep bringing it up. <laughs> okay, like, okay. You see so, what I'm saying? When he's just yeah. like, I'm done. Like, what, what do you want me to do? Like, this, this, I'm not talking about you. I'm not doing anything. Just call yeah. it a day. So, so no, no truth about uh, no truth about Fuad saying Sam can't do any podcasts. Uh, no truth about um, Fuad basically um, getting him on the cheap. Uh, okay. What, so what the the price? I don't know any of the pricing aspects. Okay. I don't know any of that. Okay. Um, whatever he was signed for, I don't know. I know though for a fact that he kept getting raises. So they kept taking care of Sam consistently. They took care of Sam. They did the right. They listen. Hostel takes care of their people, man. They okay. really do. Well, that's good Hostel, to know. Hostel, like, here's this podcast thing. If everything was true about the podcast, how can their athlete, Nick, right? Not Nick Walker, the old athlete, but the Nick, um, forget his name. He just turned pro. How come he has his own podcast? How come Samson Daura was on my podcast? Yeah, Samson's been on my Auto. podcast several it's, uh, yeah, multiple right. times too. Right. So there, there's nothing in there yeah. that you're, like, that way. It's, it's just plain and simple. Like you're with a brand, you just promote one brand, just like every other contract. Yeah. All this other nonsense is flat out nonsense. Uh, okay. It's just people making up things. Listen, if Fuad, you, you remember, Sam was only, because Fuad said this himself on, on a podcast, when, uh, I forget what he was doing with, he's like, and it was true. He's only had Sam on his podcast twice. If he controlled Sam, why didn't he have him on every week? Right, 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 right. I mean, it would have blew his podcast up even yeah. more. I'm glad you're actually. Once. I'm glad you're actually saying this because I was and still am a huge uh, fan of Fuad. Going back to when he started the podcast with Luke, you know, God rest his soul, and mm -hmm. and then from I started getting a bad taste in my mouth from everything that's being said, and then I tried to meet him at the New York Pro. I believe it was two years ago, and he walked away from the people that were trying to meet him. 
So I kind of was started getting a bad taste in my mouth, but I'm glad, but for a long time, people would say things and uh, on podcasts, on social media, behind the scenes. And for a long time, I was like in denial because I'm like, nah, it can't be because I'm such a huge fan of them. And then I'm like, well, maybe where there's smoke, there's fire, right? So I started getting a bad taste in my mouth, but then I'm like, and then I'm I'm like I speak to you and I go and you go no it's all crap the guy has done nothing but treat Sam well treat me well treat his athletes well and I'm actually glad that you said that because that's what I want to believe if that makes sense do you know what I mean? Listen, I'm not a I'm not a fan of negativity. I am a person right. of do good for others and uh, um, do good for others and be a good person. Okay, I like to be around people who are positive. I like to be around people who just kind of keep to themselves, don't create drama. Right. I, I've been around Fuad so much. He he never brings anything up. If there's anybody that, that said anything negative about him, he never brings them up. Good. He doesn't bring any of them up. He, he jokes around, he laughs. He's always supported me. His wife, Summer, has always supported me. His whole team. Um, I've all, like, again, I see Fuad as a great, great close friend. And I'm not going to be friends with people or associate people who are negative, right? Or will talk negative to me about somebody. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Never, ever, never out of his mouth has he ever said anything. Listen, and I'm friends with everybody. I'm friends with all the people that talk bad about him. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So he could easily be like, well, Pat, you're friends with them and I don't like them. Right, right, right. No, he doesn't care because he doesn't care. It's cut off. Right. right, Nobody brings it up. The only people bringing up or online over what? Like right. it's spilled milk and it's between and it's whatever the spilled milk is. It happened between those individuals within their thing. It's done. Mm. You know what okay. I mean? So no, man, I think, I think it's just, uh, I think it's a lot of nonsense and um, you know, it's uh, it just, it is what it is, man. Okay. Um, but okay. no, man, I, uh, I, I'm, I would definitely have to say a hundred percent that, Everything is false, man. And uh-huh. you know, and when it comes to Sam, man, they took care of Sam so good. And okay. Sam was such a good guy. He, like Sam didn't have to do anything. They didn't force they didn't even ask him to do anything. Yeah. That's the crazy <laughs> thing. I'm glad you cleared like, that up. I mean, I'm actually a, yeah. Yeah. And, and here's the other thing too, right? Like to for people listening, like you could check Sam's stories and post. He never posted anything. It yeah, was just he random. Never... He was wearing this and that. Now let's let's be real. When it comes to contracts with all supplement brands, right? There's always clauses in there. You gotta post. You gotta you gotta do stories. You gotta do stuff. Right. So if all of this nonsense that people said was true, why wasn't it being done? Okay. You, you know right. what I'm saying? It's right. like there's. Yes. You see what I'm saying? It's like okay, if somebody makes an accusation, well, okay, let's look at the data and see if it's true versus. Oh, the accusation must be true because this person hates Fuad, mm. and that's got to make sense. Versus, here's the accusation, but where's the proof? Where's right, the right, right. proof? Like, yeah, right. You know what I mean? And it's right. not that hard to see the proof. It was like every in front of everybody's eyes. Right. So that's that's my uh, that's my whole thing, man. Oh no. Nah, All right. Good. I'm glad that you actually cleared that up. and We were able to discuss it.